Hello, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to some more Medieval Dynasty where today we are looking and completing two new houses that I've been working on because I've had this amazing idea. We basically need more mining and we need more woods. And we're gonna do we're gonna be getting to those like the extraction two, which is the mining shed, I believe. Let's just take it. Uh, the woodshed two is going to be come up, coming up close, and that's very close to being finished. And actually, that might even finish with those two houses being finished. Hmm. So that would give us the woodshed two, and then the mine is the next one that I want. So depending on where we, f it actually, we, I'm, what I might do is build two houses and an additional excavation shed. That should get us the woodshed two. The reason why I'll build a second excavation shed is because the mine allows us more people to work there. Therefore, how can we build in the mine entrance each year? The mine deepens cave. Pretty sure we can have two people work there. So at that point, having the two excavation sheds, the two people that are employed there can move over to the mine. That's not a problem. We have we haven't. We don't have to worry about mixing anyone up or swapping things around because we've already got the two people working there. Um, the same would ha be the same for the um, woodshed one. If there's two of those, and then there's... Um, does it? And logs and tree sticks, wider range, 100 meters, has more worker slots, yes. So actually the mine might only have one slot, but if it, even if it only has one slot, that's fine. Because we can either, at that point, we might not be needing so much resources. We would be iron that we'd be looking at getting, and that's it. So at that point, the extra person can move over to somewhere else, farming or whatever. Possibly. So that would help out a little bit. That, in fact, that would help out a lot because the extra wood is needed because we need to get extra wood for everything. I mean, it's just taken me an absolute age to get all the planks for the roofs here. Uh, I've got all the wood, logs and that for the walls. It's just stone. So we need to get some stone. There isn't much in the way of stone nearby. So what I'm going to be doing is let's equip this and let's just go over here. Uh, that is harvestable. That's fine. All I want is rock. I could go all the way up to my excavation sheds and find some. Uh, because I know there's loads there. But that's a long way to travel. And I don't think that's harvestable. Not doesn't look like it is. There's some around here. We did a lot. So maybe... Yeah, maybe there isn't enough to mine around here. Because if this only gives us one each, that's quite a lot of rocks that we need to harvest. Ah, got some limestone. Aha! That's how we get some limestone. Okay, that's depleted. I know all the ones that are in town are depleted, so... Oh, fox. Floating fox at that. Let's see what else is around. I don't think there's much else around. I think there might be... You can't harvest those, annoyingly. Or that one. Or that one. I think there's some over here. I wonder if I've already harvested this. No, I have not. And there we go. And what do we get here? I mean, limestone is also pretty handy to get some of that because... We need to upgrade some more of our buildings so that they're more efficient for the next winter. And how many do we get? Three? That's not a great deal, really. No, I think we are going to have to wander up to the place. I mean, we can get some here, but not much. It is totally fine. That's totally fine. Yep, yeah, more limestone, more rocks, and nothing else is harvestable there. Uh, there's some more here. And I'll get, we'll 
we'll get what we can here, and then we will head up to the the excavation sheds. Yeah, so we've got 19 stone. In fairness, that's pretty good. That's not too bad, actually. And that's half of one of the houses completed. Actually, it's over half of one of the houses completed. And then two more there, and we're done. Yeah. So that house is almost complete, 79%. This one is 29%. So we need a lot of stone. This is this is the problem. Yeah, all of these are depleted, and these don't respawn, as far as I'm aware. So that's it. They don't respawn. There's nothing new coming out of them. And that is what it is. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put my hammer away so we can carry a bit more back. And I don't think there's anything else. Limestone. Actually, there's one thing I need to check first, or want to check. I need the hammer first. Oh, I'm stuck in the doorway. Yeah, got myself stuck in the doorway. That's not clever. Uh, iron hammer. There we go. So, in the skills, I've got excavation, or crafting, sorry. And one of those is... Handyman. So it allows upgrading and downgrading of house modules. The next level is exactly the same. So what does that give us? It currently costs us six limestone to upgrade anything. Let's see if that changes in any way. I do need to go there. I need to go there. Click on that. Click the right button. Upgrade. It's still six. Hmm. I'm going to finish this. Actually, it doesn't make any difference. We can... Yeah. We'll do this one. Because this one's even closer to being finished. And... Done. Yes, yeah, so that doesn't... Unless it increases or... Unless it reduces the stamina cost for upgrading. That's really... Pointless. But so be it. I need a little bit more food. And... Can I even cook anything? I might be able to cook something. Uh, we've got carrots, we've got eggs, we've got fish, onions. You know what? I might buy the onion recipe under uh, tavern, which is meat and gravy, onion and roasted meats. Okay, I'm going to buy both of those. I can afford to. That's fine. And that way... If we go to management, that's what I'm looking for. We go there, we go to tavern, right down the bottom, I believe. Yep. We can then get you making uh, meats with gravy. Oh, wait, I need to put that down. Put it down to 40. Was it stew? Salted meat, just plain meat. Wow, that's really slow. Okay, this is where having two people here would be really handy. Uh, no resources, because I haven't got the roasted meat. Okay, so we're going to leave that one then. Going to put that one up. Yeah, kind of need a second person working here for me. We'll get it though. So, what I'm going to do is. Do you actually have that little carrot? I uh, don't need that much. Seven? No, just, just five. And then. I think it's. Yeah, just five. I think it's one of each, I think. As is fine. If it's not, that'll do. We only say we don't die. Let's go cook it, and then I shall see you back here with all the stone that I can carry. Okay, so that is one house completed, and we're now getting on to the second one. I don't think we're going to have enough stone, but I did tell the miner to start mining stone, so hopefully we have enough over at our warehouse. 
And right, let's just wait for stamina. That'll do. Four more. Done. Right. So, how many more do we need? So, six. Twelve. 30, 40, 15, 16. Oh, I need a log, damn it. 27. 27. 31 and 2 logs. Damn, 2 logs. Okay, that's fine. It's not entirely a big problem. Just a quick sprint around. How many stones has this guy got? Um... 35! Yeah! We need, what, 31? There you go, except, and then immediately, let's get him back working on limestone. So, excavation shed, there it is. Do that, and go off stone. He'd finished for the day anyway, so that is one day's work is all he needed to help us out. And then limestone to get all the buildings upgraded. It's looking good. And then we need two logs. Is there, by any chance, two logs in here? There is not. It all gets turned into firewood, which is getting low again. And I think it also gets turned into stone sickles as well, which we're getting quite a lot of as well. So that's good. That is very good. I can't chop anything down because I haven't got my axe on me. So let's go use all the stone and then I'll get the two logs that I need. Okay, so two more logs gathered. And actually, I got four logs. Three logs, even. Can't count. And that is another house completed. Now we just need to go hire some people, which we already have some people that like us enough that we don't need to talk to or manipulate to come here so it's literally just a case of going up to and finding them and that's it simple and I'm gonna drop that I'm gonna drop that got a random log we'll put some of that away uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the bow with me and some arrows just yeah, 18 will do and a knife with me Yeah, just one of them. That's fine. So the whole reason I'm taking that with me is because I'm going out at night and there will be big scary animals. I'm going to eat that. And we're also going to take some stuff to sell. So we can make start making a bit more money. Let's see what we've got. We have 23 of those. 20 of those. And clay. Weighs quite a bit, so probably won't take it. Um, let's put that away, the log, the sticks, and yeah, looking good. We've got 16 fertilizer. Don't know. It's, yeah, 16 fertilizer is good. I think we've got some more fertilizer in here as well. 25 fertilizer in here. So, we're looking pretty good on fertilizer. Yeah, that's going to be pretty handy, actually. And I'm going to head down the road to the local town, see what I can find there, see who I can find there, see who I can hire, and then we will assign them... Oh, wait, I need to... Let's go find them first. And then we're going to, let's, let's go hire people, and then we're going to build the excavation sheds. How close are we? Oh, we're, less than, we're less than 75 points away from the woodshed too. So, cutting down trees, mining rocks, digging clay, completing buildings. I'm thinking if we buy, build a second excavation shed, we're probably going to be so close to the woodshed too that that will be it that will be all we need to do so let's go hire some people first and then we're going to worry about the excavation shed when it's a bit more brighter okay so here is one of the people uh, tomir he's already at 70 percent, so there's no point pissing him off anymore let's hire tomir and let's see how good he's terrible isn't he 
Yeah, okay. And, well, actually, you're not too bad. But let's give him a home. We've got two lovely houses for him. Um, yeah, you're going to go there. You're not going to move in with my future bride, who is it's Ingrida. I believe it's Ingrida. So he should start moving home in a second. Did I see that people are hungry? How are people hungry? There's a million tons of food. Or was it just this guy? Probably this guy. Yeah. He's, he's fine. He's... Morale is going up. So, that's all of this done. There's no one else here that we can hire. So, technically, I'm going to hire four new people. Which might be a little bit excessive, but at the same time, that is totally fine. Because I think at that point, we don't need to worry about any new... Um, any new employees for a little while. I was thinking of different words for employees. <sighs> Subjects. That's what I was thinking of. Subjects. Uh, I don't know if... I think all the other people that I befriended are over to the west. I believe. I don't know if there's anyone here that I have hired or befriended even that I can hire. If I can put words together in a sentence, it would be great. Ooh, women. Approval 50%. Well, let's see if we can chat her up in it all. Heard any recent gossip? Have you seen the noble laws passing? Nice weather. Okay, she doesn't think the weather's that great. I mean, it has been raining all day. Um, now you're at 61, so you're still at 61. Recently got into hunting, 66. Ah, gossip. It was over that the field one, and that always is a negative, because everyone thinks I stink like something. Um, what an amazing dress you have. We might as well... Oh, that's minus five, but yeah. Okay, that went well. That went really well. Prismir, you... We've spoken to you before, because you're at 53. Nice weather. Yeah, you think we've been having good weather. Recently got into hunting, that's 63. Um, heard any gossip? Minus. Okay. Right. Fine. Almost a good start. And I'm thinking... I haven't been up here for a little while, so... I'm going to head over to here, because I'm pretty sure that one of these two villages has people that I can hire. So, let's go over there and see who we can hire. Okay, and here is someone that we didn't or pre... Um, talk to but we got lucky on having two things that gave us two two topics that gave us uh, ten what you call it ten likability ness and Leopolda have you spoken to you before uh, have you got a minute I've recently got into hunting how have you been lately she doesn't like that how's the job she likes that How's the job? Again, likes that. How's the job? Again, we got a very lucky there. And... Um, yeah, creating a new settlement. See you there. So that's three new employees. Oh, where the... She teleported. <gasps> she's got teleportation powers. And she's sat on his lap. She doesn't want to talk right now. Okay, let's give those two people a new home. And... Uh, he's at minus one, that's fine. So, yeah, we're going to go for that one. And Leopolda. You have a choice of two houses. Yes. Uh, fine, we'll go with that one. That's fine. So that's three new employees. Three. Count them. I can barely count that high, but uh, that's three new employees. I'm going to see if there's one new employee at the other place over there. That's to the south, to this direction, to the west, and that will, if, I mean, if I can get one more, that will be four new employees, and again, I don't think I have to worry about any more employees for a long time at that point. Oh. 
Well, we got a little bit of a, a trouble, but that's why we brought the bow. And I'm getting so good with the bow, I can put it right between his eyes and kill him in one shot. And yeah, yeah that's easy. Easily done like that. <laughs> we took a bit of damage, but so be it. We've got these lovely plants that can heal us up. Kind of hoping that we can uh, like create like, bandages or stuff like that instead of just using these to heal us up all the time. It's nice and simple. Gets the job done and all that. And you'll need the last one, sod it. I just clear it out of my inventory. But yeah, having some medicinal healer building would also be pretty good. Not a witchcraft building either. None of that. No witchcraft. Just plain healing. Uh, right, we need females, so... You're at 60% then. Interesting. Um, how's the job going? Doesn't like that. Um, okay. She doesn't like me well enough now to talk to me. Okay, let's see if we can get lucky with you. Um, how's the job going? That's plus 12%. Nice weather. Minus 5. Damn it. Ah, fine. I mean, we did well. We got three employees. I could end up getting another, a, another a fourth employee. But overall, I think we've done really well. So I'm going to leave this video here. We've made a lot of progress in the hiring of people department. I now, I now need to give them jobs. One of them is going to be my miner. So oh, that'll be Leopolda. You're actually really good. You're three across most of the board. You're garbage at fishing, but so be it. You're actually pretty good at everything. So, yeah, Leopolda is going to be my second excavation per person. And may, uh, when, may well end up being my second tree cutter, woods person, because that would be really good. Uh, where Lumberjack? You're at three. I think you're the only one I've seen. You're, I mean, you're the only one that I've seen get to four. But otherwise... Yeah. Hmm. It's fine. To me, he's garbage. He might just be a random person. In fact, where can I put him? We have... We can put him in food storage. In Goose House. That doesn't really need it. In resource storage. Food storage. Let's put him there. Why not? Uh, storekeeper. I don't know what that does in terms of anything, but he... Ah, that might be diplomacy that he gains. Is that potentially diplomacy that he gains? So... Food store. Crafting, apparently. Okay. Okay. I have no idea. That's fine. I mean, it's, it's... Yeah, I mean... I don't know what he's going to be doing, but he's going to be doing something. So... So be it. He'll do something, and we'll never know quite what it is. He's one of those people that you see doing work, but you don't actually know what they're doing. So you just leave them to it. But anyway, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to hit that like button. And if you want to see more videos, remember to hit that subscribe button. But until next time, have fun and enjoy the rest of your day.